<laughs> oh god. Sorry, man. You totally scared me. What's going on, humble pundit? What can I do for you? Yeah, you're having troubles with your Ollie? That's perfect timing because that's actually something I'm watching right now. Yeah, it's Skating with Aaron. Are you familiar with this content? <laughs> no, no, no. That's not... I'm just Aaron. I'm just Aaron. That's Skating with Aaron. He teaches beginner tutorials for skateboarding and he hides pineapples in all his videos. Pretty cool guy. If, you know, actually, hold that thought. I'm gonna hit the like button on this video before I forget to. All right, I'm sorry, what can I do for you? Okay. Okay. I know exactly what you mean. So let me make sure I got this right. You're having issues getting the tail up off the ground. It seems like your back leg doesn't quite want to bend to allow the board to come up. Is that right? Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and get this worked out for you. Uh, I'm gonna grab my board right here since we're inside. We'll go ahead and do some examples of how to fix that inside. And then we'll head outside and I'll show you how to do it on the board too. Let's go. All right, so in my mind, if you can't get your tail up off the ground, it's one of two issues. The first issue is you're not snapping quick enough on the tail to get that pop to get the board lifted in the air. The second, which is more than likely everyone's issue when they first start skating, is you're literally just not getting your back foot up off the ground and out of the way. So whether you're bending your knee or lifting your leg up, you're not giving the board room to lift up, therefore your ollie looks like this, and you got a soggy ollie. Let's fix a soggy ollie, come on. First, do some standing jumps. Next, you're gonna hold that tail down position and focus on getting the back foot as high as the front. Finally, do the full slide motion, get the back foot as high as the front. All right, so practice attempts inside. Definitely recommend wearing shoes, not just socks, if you have grip on your board, but do the same thing as what we just did. Get in your ollie motion. You're already pushing down the tail. Now jump up, get both legs up. It's gonna be weird at first catching it, but that's fine. After that, do a little ollie. We're on carpet, so it's gonna be weird. But notice how I'm trying to get my back foot up. Carpet boarding is a great way to practice, but keep in mind it's not gonna get the same popping feeling due to the give in the carpet. But if it's raining outside or you're not confident enough, by all means, do it. All right, now that I showed you some things you can do inside, let's go ahead and head outside. While we're heading out, I'm gonna show you some clips from my friend Connor. He actually just sent me, it goes perfect with this as well. So check out his. Let's go. Now watch this as he ollies. He's got great foot position. You can see here, he can bend down a little bit more. But pay attention to the back foot. It never goes higher or even evens out with the front foot. Now looking at another angle, here we go again. Leveling out and his back foot never gets as high as the front. So I've tried this a few times as well. How do we fix this? Notice that my body position is centered over the board. So it's not that I'm leaning back. So again, how do we fix this? Let's go back to what we were doing inside. Do the stall jumps. Now your back foot's not gonna go as high as the front when you do this, but that's okay. It's just getting used to the feeling. Then step off the board, do the stall jump and get your back foot as high. Now try to do it again. It's all about muscle memory and training your body, which you should definitely be feeling a difference at this point. If not, do it again. Seriously hot out, I'm already sweating. But guys, if you like this content and you wanna see more subscriber trick tip tutorials or reviews, let me know, hit the like button. Let YouTube algorithm know by hitting the like button so they promote it as well. Let's go. So let's take a look at a different angle to really drive home what's happening. Watch my back foot and the board. Right there, back foot's stopping the board. It can't go any higher. It's actually bouncing off my foot. Let's try it again. Slow motion, same thing. Watch the back foot. Back foot stops, board hits it, board actually comes back down. A back foot stopping it. Now a few examples where I lift my back foot up as high as I can. Notice the board is not stopping. Let's watch it in slow motion. Boom, right there. It's almost even with my front foot. I can still go a little higher. But the board is coming all the way up. Let's watch this again. Another example. Here we go. Slow motion. Now watch my feet and the board as we're going up. Right? Normally right there I would have stopped it. Board still keeps coming. It's already in contact with my foot, but it keeps going because my foot keeps lifting up. So guys, if you're able to jump both feet straight up, but you're still struggling with getting that back foot up, there could be one other option or one other issue that we haven't discussed yet, which you might be leaning back. You might literally be favoring your back foot, therefore putting your weight on your back foot and having your body aligned over it. If you're doing that, it's gonna be really tough to actually get up off the ground. Just like I showed you when I was had the board underneath my feet, in mid ollie position and then just jumping off the back foot it's harder to get that back foot off the ground and that's because all my weight was centered over it 
Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so let's take a look at how this works. So if I'm leaning back, my weight's on my back foot. Look at my body positioning. I'm leaning back, literally. Cannot get my back foot up because of it. Right here, see? Look how low my back foot is compared to my front. Now, if I even out my weight and try to keep it centered over the board, and again, the center of the board when you're lined up, you're, you want your head when you're in the air to be about where your front foot's starting. So this way, when you're in the air, look at my body positioning, look at my back foot. My back foot is almost as high as my front foot. It could be better, but this is what you're looking for.